Hi, I'm Professor Jay Zagorski, and today we're going to learn how to adjust a single price for the effects of inflation. When is this useful? Let's say you know the price of something you bought 15 years ago. How much would that same item cost today? Keep watching to find out. As a personal example, my grandfather always talked about the good old days, when a loaf of bread and a cup of coffee mm, used to cost only about a dime each. But Grandpa's story had two small problems. First, he never told me exactly when the good old days were. I always assumed they were around 1940. And second, he forgot to adjust for inflation. Back in the good old days, Grandpa was only earning about a dollar a day. So 10 cents clearly had a very different value back then. But what was it? To find out, there's a very simple tool called an inflation calculator. To find the calculator for the United States, bring up your favorite search engine and type in the letters B. L S. This stands for Bureau of Labor Statistics. Then type in the words Inflation Calculator and click on the first link. Or you can jump directly to the Bureau's homepage at www.bls.gov. Either way, the Inflation Calculator is found at the very bottom. Once you find the link, click on it. The calculator is very easy to use. In the top two boxes, all you have to do is put the year and price from the past. Let's type in 1940 and 10 cents as our values. Then, in the bottom, let's set the current year to 2016. As the last step, press calculate to find out how much that cup of coffee would cost today. Voila! Grandpa's cup of coffee in 1940 is actually worth about $1.70 in 2016. This is roughly the same price stores in my neighborhood are selling a small plain black coffee today. What does this mean? The good old days really weren't that different, at least when looking at coffee prices. How does the inflation calculator work? The computer uses a simple equation. Today's price is equal to the old price times an adjustment factor. The adjustment factor is calculated by dividing the new consumer price index, also called the CPI, by the old consumer price index. The entire equation looks like this. You can learn more about the CPI from watching videos on Chapter 6 of my book, Business Macroeconomics. The adjustment factor between 1940 and 2016, which is the one we just used, is about 17. This means prices seen by the typical U.S. family have risen 17 times in roughly 75 years. Other countries such as Canada, England, Mexico, Australia, and even New Zealand have similar inflation adjustment calculators. I love England's calculator. It can adjust prices all the way back to 1750, which is just a few years before I was born. Okay, maybe I'm not that old. In all seriousness, while inflation calculators are easy to use, they have three issues. First, only a few countries have them. Second, inflation calculators can only handle annual data. If you want to understand the value of an item that has changed over the course of one year, inflation calculators are not useful. And third, there's no way for inflation calculators to easily adjust a long series of numbers. If you want to adjust a hundred years worth of information, you need to type in a huge amount of data. It's a real pain. To handle these problems, see my next video on how to adjust an entire data series for the effects of inflation. Before I end, try it for yourself. In 1965, movie tickets cost about a dollar in the U.S. Use the U.S. inflation calculator to figure out how much a ticket is worth today. To summarize, if you need to quickly adjust a single price from the past into today's terms, use the online inflation calculator. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.